ननु कथम अन्यस्मिन् विदिते अन्यस् अन्य विदितम् भवति व्हाट वाज सेड इन द लास्ट मंत्र आत्मा वा अरे द्रष्टव्य श्रोतव्य मंत्रव्य निधिध्यासितव्य मैत्री आत्मनो वा अरे दर्शनेन श्रवणेन मत्या विज्ञानेन इदम् सर्वम् विदितम् भवति दैट मींस यू नो द आत्मा and having known the Atma, you know everything. How it is possible? See? It is something like, you know cooking, and by then you will know the mathematics. Are you? It is a very contradiction. How this is possible? This is the question raised. See, friends. Therefore, Nanu katham anyasmin vidite anyad viditam bhavati Knowing one, how can the other be known? See? Naisha doshaha. This is not anything wrong in this way, in this statement. Why? Nahi atme vetirekena anyat kinchit asti. Now what is the problem with this student who is asking this question? He is thinking atma and the world, they are separate. Atma and other than the Atma, they are two entities. Therefore, here the teacher says, Naisha doshaha nahi atma vitirekena anyat kinchi dasti. Other than the self, there is nothing. Self alone is. Therefore, the self alone is the world Nama Rupa Atma. So when they give importance to the Nama Rupa, name and form, Paramatma is called as the world. When we give importance to the Panchakosha Upadis, then the same Paramatma is called as the Jiva. Then we give importance to the Maya Shakti of Paramatma, then we call the same Paramatma, the Brahman, as the Ishvara. So the Jiva Jagat Ishvara, these are the three conditioning imposed on the absolute reality. Therefore, they are referred in three ways. But essentially, all of them are the same reality because of the conditioning they appear to have become many, like the son, husband and the father. See? Therefore, nahi atma vitireke na anyat kinchitasti. Nahi purusha vitireke na anyat putra, pati and pita asti. Other than the man, the three fellows have no existence. The man is the reality. In the same manner, having known the self, everything becomes known. If you know the man, then you have known the son also. If you know the man, you have known the husband also. If you know the man, you have known the father also. See? Therefore, nahi atma viti rekena anyat kinchi dasti yadya dasti na tad vitritam syad. Therefore, whatever, whatever is, it is not other than the self. See? Sarvam kalvidam brahma. This is the ultimate statement. See, friends. Deha vimane galite vidnyate paramatmane yatra yatra mano yati tatra tatra samadaya. When we rise above the identification with the faculties, with the gross body, the subtle body, etc. Deha vimane galite vidnyate paramatmane and we have come to discover our divine nature, then yatra yatra mano yati wherever, wherever the mind travels, that mind is always living in samadhi. That is why meditation is not done. We have to live in meditation. Like we do not do the waking. See, we are in the waking and then do the various activities. We are in the dream, then we go through good or bad experiences. We are in the deep sleep, then we snore. In the same manner, we have to live in meditation and then conduct the business of life. Therefore, yadasti tad viditam syad. Yadasti na tad viditam syad. Na to anyadasti. Therefore, 
other than the self, there is nothing and therefore one can know the truth and thereby know everything. Atma to evam sarvam, because everything is nothing but the self. See, like when I look at my feet, some heat is there. Therefore, when I am looking at the foot, I am looking at me. When I look at my head, I am looking at me. When I look at the mirror in the reflection, I am looking at me. Atmanastu. Therefore, this Atma, the Self, is the reality and that alone is the truth. Therefore, if you know the Self, you know everything. See, friends. If you have the eyes, you will know all colors and forms. If you are a goldsmith, you will know all the possible ornaments which are hidden in the gold. You and me will not be able to know, but goldsmith can. See? So he who has known the gold, he has known all the ornaments. He who has known the water, he has known the ocean as well as the waves. Because ocean and the waves are nothing but the water. Ornaments are nothing but the gold. In the same manner, idam sarvam, the whole objective world is nothing but the same reality which is divided into subject-object duality because of the upadhi. So Paramatma with the upadhi where the inertness is prominent, that is the objective world. Jada Srishti. And where in addition to the existence, there is also sentiency, then it is the Chetana Srishti. The one Paramatma alone is the Jada objective world and the Chetan subjective world. This is how the other than the Paramatma nothing else is. Therefore, the smart Sarvamatmani Vidite Viditam Syad. Therefore, Atmani Vidite Sarvam Viditam Syad. When we come to know, discover our essential nature, everything becomes known to us. <coughs>